Hello, my dear friends, best greetings from Ukraine and best greetings from Turkish Republic. Hello, so, everyone. Hello, everyone. So this is uh, Viktor Furso from Kiev, Ukraine, and Akif Suna from Turkey, Eskişehir. Right. Yes. So we are far away from each other, but because of so nice technology, we can communicate so easily online via this stream. So this stream is devoted to insects. So this is summer entomology chart. So very hot. I'm with conditioner. So it's still conditioner inside because outside 32 degree, just in a shadow. Maybe on light is even hot. But what's about Eskesha here? It's 34 here. 34, 34, okay, in shadow. <laughs> yeah, so people are hidden somewhere inside houses. Yeah. And you said insects flying slowly or very quickly. So very difficult to, uh, to make observations. Yeah, you're right. Because of so hot. I said maybe easier to take some video and photo outside evening time. That's why I have opportunity to record some short and longer videos, insects which are coming from outside closer to my house at night time, because I switch on night light trap, light, just light. Uh, one is simple, like this here, just near me, like this one. But uh, also with addition of some ultraviolet ultra lamp. So and sometimes it's effective, but it depends from the time. So in the beginning, maybe two weeks ago, you see, it was not so hot. And insects were flying quite a lot, much yeah. more than now. And really now, even we had a couple days with rain, still very hot and nighttime, very much, a few insects, much less. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe at least a couple of days of rain will be restoring something. But uh, this is uh, changes, changes of different species of insects. Yes. And it's also quite interesting. Sometimes hymenoptera come in. Of course, many. Uh, Butterflies, night moths are coming. Mm -hmm. Even uh, a couple of days ago, we were coming dragonfly. And I recorded dragonfly not at night, but in evening time yesterday. And this dragonfly laid eggs inside my laboratory. So I recorded a very funny uh, video about it. Maybe I can upload it tomorrow. So Let's start to show some insects. You observed mm -hmm. some insects as well. Yes. Where? And and how? Uh, in the field mostly. Field mm -hmm. and forests. Morning time, evening time, day time. Evening time. Evening time. But they are hard to find, as you said. It's so hot. Even insects hide. Did you make some kind of beating on on leaves or just yes, under cork? Yes, I did beating. Like you put something under mm -hmm. under leaves and just making shaking shaking leaves. Yes, shaking. So they drop, they fall down. Mm -hmm. And you are here with your just with your camera. Yeah. Yes, and maybe with your. Aspirator? We were... No, did you collect them? No, I didn't collect them. And no, because no. I collect small insects. If they're coming, just somewhere, I collect small insects. Even I keep some tubes in my pocket at work. And then when I come into my laboratory, I watch very carefully on the window near my laboratory in a building. And with a wind, we wind, as I told about balcony, some insects, very tiny insects, one millimeter, half millimeter, even small, 
half millimeter strips were coming inside on window. So I have always my small tubes to catch them. And later to see them under microscope because they're very, sm very small and yeah. running very fast. So sometimes I use even brush and put them inside tube. Okay, let's start from the beginning. For example, on my window, sometimes come in small insects, mm, more or less bigger insects, small insects. And yesterday I made experiment. I wanted to feed my dragonfly. I wanted because dragonfly was alive. I wanted to feed them. And so a dragonfly had a head, big head with mandibles. I collected one fly on my window. And finally, I wanted to give for beginning spider for dragonfly. But dragonfly didn't eat spider, didn't like. Then I catched, I caught, I caught a fly. Fly, my, like mosquito, is uh, very soft. I gave it to dragonfly. And happy dragonfly ate mosquito. It will be in, on my video. That's a but nice today, experience. Yes, very, very simple. Very simple, but interesting. Because she did not react on spider, surprisingly. Yeah. Maybe smell, maybe maybe this net, or some proteins different. Yes. Inside my laboratory, I have two artificial small boxes. I showed them on video, small boxes for solitary bees, just for experiment. And some small parasitoids of Torimidae family. I showed them sometimes. Mm -hmm. Monodontomerus, they're coming from my open window. Because in laboratory, I don't have a conditioner. My window is open. So parasitoids coming directly to my laboratory and they come down directly to the beehive. So, and these parasitoids are visible, and I show them. Let's show yeah, them. I think, I think I saw them too in your video. For example, once some come in, wait, 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 oh, yeah. But this is not parasitoid. Mm -hmm. This is kind of a solitary wasp. I and think they're is, called aphid wasps. Yeah, or cicadas, I guess. Either aphids or cicadas. This is a sphecidae wasps. Yeah, I guess I didn't see their prey. So, but we are occasionally coming inside the room with open window. Well, these species are very common, just near near buildings, near some roofs, near some buildings. Several of them. I saw them once around aphids. Maybe they eat aphids. Yeah, not they, but they are larvae. They are larvae. Mm. They are larvae. They, they, they are bringing aphids inside the nest. Mm. And this is Monodontomerus. This is one slightly of the same size, the same size, about uh, six millimeters. Very aggressive parasitoid of uh, solitary bees. That's it was. I wanted to show you once again and to show the label. Yeah, Monodontomerus, Torimide family, and this is small calcid wasp. Sometimes very small insects can come inside the room on the window, yeah. but it needs, even I collected uh, one tiny Melitobia, Melitobia eolophide, eolophide family. Very tiny, less than one millimeter. Also, aggressive parasitoid of 
solitary bees can squeeze, can squeeze everywhere inside the beehive. Let's show your insects. Okay. I'm ready to show them. Let's start one by one. Okay. And this insect is coming from Turkish Republic. Very interesting. All so, right. Tormida, I think. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, yes, ovipositor. Ovipositor. So you were searching, this is also kind of Torimide, searching for larvae inside, inside stems. Yes. So many of them developing inside dry stems. Here usually some larvae of maybe parasitoid of Anobide or some beetles or Bupresidae beetles. All right. For me, the yes. So oh, this is Tori me the family. I'm not sure about genus, so quite many of them. Yeah, me too. Oh, very nice. This is very careful. Good, good observation. And but I couldn't record it well. It was so windy. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. It is visi visible. Many uh, larvae of, uh, mm, I say, ano bide and bupreside. Bupreside a host. Like this. Ano bide and bupreside host inside inside stems sometimes if we bring these stems or seeds uh, some beetles will emerge from these stems and seeds so i told about this technology to cut some seeds like these seeds uh, flower flower heads it's possible usually cut flower heads mm -hmm. the most uh, attractive here on this dry stem flower head so they dry and some insects will emerge later from flower heads or from stems because this is a separation. Some insects living in flowers, some mm -hmm. in seeds, some in stems, some down there, even in roots. So uh, different species will be on one, on, on one plant. Very nice. So my, my step, I, I search. Okay, this is not parasitoid. This is not parasitoid, but obviously this is kind of mosquito mm -hmm. which is coming which is coming even to light. And it's quite funny that there is a special uh, like a differentiation of two species of mosquitoes which are can carry malaria. So this is a normal one because sitting like flattened parallel to the ground, parallel to the surface. But if a mosquito will sit down with upturned body, with abdomen up. So this is can be another species which can be da dangerous and a vector of malaria disease. So this one is not dangerous. It's so, a common, common one. Yes, this is common Anopheles, so sometimes showing different positions of legs. Mm -hmm. This is not the most funny, but the differentiation, especially for dangerous species, must be sitting like that, with open upstairs body. So that's why I was searching to check, oh, this is normal species, not dangerous. Yeah. Let's show someone else. Is it my turn? Uh, well, well, well. Uh, we have uh, this species, just one minute. We have this species, very small, small moth, which is called 
Camerarium moth. Chestnut moth. Mm. Chestnut moth. This is very small, about one, two millimeters, tiny moth. But this is a phytophagus eating live, uh, leaf mining, leaf mining moths. Yeah, I've, I've seen them here. So we're developing on chestnut. Mm. I'm not sure that the uh, chestnut is common in your city. But, too, but I've yeah. seen them before, like leaf mining moths. They're just white and brown, white and brown. Mm -hmm. White and brown. So now this uh, summer is very hot, so not so visible, not so high population. But if it is a little bit dry, a little rain, sometimes our chestnut trees with a big, big damage of leaves. So very, and this is introduced species. Mm. So came from Europe, from former Yugoslavia, from Serbia, step by step, from the maybe 2003, during 10, about 10 years, it's, just spread all about all around Ukraine and even in some places in Russia became very very common mm -hmm. so dangerous dangerous pest of chestnut trees as ornamental plant mm -hmm. let's go your your turn okay oh this was the show the camera camera uh, yes yes just a minute i sh i'll show you this is camera and your your tiny insect okay okay very tiny insects coming yeah. coming slowly and it's Aeolophida, I think. Yes, yes, looks like a male with short abdomen. Aeolophida, looks like a genus Rizocaris. Yes, so this is uh, usually these species in this genus, the parasitoids of leaf mining moths, like this moth. So this is a small, oh. tiny of leaf mo leaf mining moths. It's a nice chance I showed this after the moth. Yes, exactly. So surprisingly, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. If we collect, if we collect some leaves with mines, leaf mines, so can care keep them inside plastic bags. You know, like with a paper with toilet paper to take off moisture like a zip like in zip packages so leaves will be drying and sometimes some moss coming out of leaves and sometimes some of these tiny parasitoids will come actually i collected few few leaves with leaf miner moss inside like it's so been one it's been one week, but nothing emerged for now. Yes, Let's it is see. not not so easy because yeah. they dry very easily. Mm -hmm. And also they either dry or they becoming too wet. So and here we see so that's why if they are wet, so insects die inside. If they are dry, they can die also. Mm -hmm. So if it is a convenient kind of situation, we hatch, we damage. And this is a uh, very long nose. And then this is family Crambida. Did you collect it from light traps? Yes. They are common and they just, yeah. they do not fly around, they are just sitting. They are usually sitting. They flew, they flew sit down and just moving a little bit around. I show another one which is very common. Corn. No, no, no. Just one more. 
So the next one. So this is collected on light trap. And this is another G collected on light trap. This is called corn moth. Uh, so this is Ostrinia. Ostrinia purolide family. Uh, using small light trap is convenient because I can use a light and I can use camera to make some magnification mm. because if it is in a field it will be very difficult to make correct position sometimes with a light as well too much light and too many too many insects yeah. sometimes here we are coming one by one so I can select them one by one and make a magnification of maybe some fishes. Sometimes come in stone flies, even some caddis flies were coming recently. Some caddis flies, some bigger species and very, very tiny species. Well, and for this, I was pl I was playing with this insect control. Corn moth is very common and an uh, important pest. This is I made it just some wind myself. Just don't touch insect, but to make a wind like that, just breathing. I was making kind of breathing just to show the shape to make fun. And this is a very common insect, a pest of corn in an agricultural field. But also can eat some other plants, not only corn. Like some uh, yeah, different weeds, some weeds in the city in, in, in agriculture. So let's show your turn. Okay. And this is okay. Very I found this on that light, light trap too. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it looks like Ineumonide. Uh, looks like Ichneumonide or, or Braconide, maybe. I yeah. think it's no money that yeah. it's more likely. Well, yes, we were coming also quite common. Some of new money, not not in too many, but one by one, sometimes we are coming. If new money, uh, you, I see. But this has a long body. A, a very elongated, yeah. elongated body. So some parasitoids of Lepidoptera usually, Lepidoptera and some larvae of beetles maybe. I oh, see. Okay. okay Very nice. Us. Very nice. I check. I check, I check. Mm. All right. Do you use light traps on, on your garden or somewhere else? No, not in a garden. In a garden it needs to use a cord, cord to put it too, too far away. Here some some small tiny pests. So this is a biscuit beetle.
Питно. Пробиваем по нецелым. Yeah, very common pest of uh, different dry, dry food, some biscuits, even some dry plants. And there are two or three about parasitoids developing on them. I have one species in my house, parasitoid, and one in laboratory, so they are different. So in laboratory, I have special boxes, so from time to time, well, well, you see, you see, parasitoid was coming. <laughs> so, because here I put many beetles and also some parasitoids. So, mm -hmm. if sometimes beetles come in to be a smaller size because we have not en enough food, so some parasitoids in this case they are becoming also also smaller. So that's why some males usually very becoming very small. And uh, sometimes twice smaller. And well, you see, this is a small parasitoid was coming. Is yeah. is it pteromalide? Yes, pteromalide. Pteromalide. So I I made some uh, photographs of them, so maybe can be useful for some publication mm. because um, it is slightly difficult to differentiate them without microscope. Without microscope, they look very similar. We, we yeah. have a similar shape. But with microscope, they are completely very different. Mm. OK, I found one funny object. This is funny object I collected just also near my job. So when I was coming to my laboratory, I look around flowers. So I found this crazy little beetle. Yeah, crazy little. But B. Oh, just wasp. They're parasitic. Klep kleptoparasitic, I think. Yes, yes. Parasitic wasp. Yeah, they are really common in summer. In here too. Yes, in time, in time when bees are making their nests. So it's the same time. So when bees are busy, so crazy did they becoming also busy. So we're stealing this clapped the parasites. So we're stealing they're food. Stealing their nests. Also. The nest, food, we can say food, oh. so because they are coming inside and lay eggs on food. We kill larva, or, la or, la or their larva will kill larva, mm. and eat the food, eat the food. So that's why I say kleptoparasite, and making cocoon, very smaller cocoon inside nest. So they do not may provide any food for larva. And th this crazy did they have a very long ovipositor. If you see in some pictures. Yes, I saw. Ovipositor is very funny, very long, just to penetrate, to penetrate inside the nest. Because nest can be deep, mm -hmm. so the deeper, but ovipositor is very long. So you can put inside deep nest to lay egg inside. So she do she will not destroy the nest, but just making a small hole and put egg inside inside the nest. So very nice. Sometimes mm -hmm. very small, very small. Sometimes very big. Even one sometimes very small, one millimeter, and big one, one centimeter, or even bigger. Quite very interesting. Okay, let's. Also, their color is funny too. Like metallic colors. Yes, yes, shining. That's a very mm -hmm. nice. Metallic shining colors. Very nice. Okay. 
Okay, we have dung beetles here. Oh yes, they're yeah. they're fi fighting. Ah, uh, two males probably. It looks like that with small horns. Yes, like two males with small horns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he's protecting his nest or their hole. Or we are fighting for food. Maybe, yeah. So we don't make too much nest, but fighting for food. So we are carrying something. So or this is a like a sexual competition, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Because I think there's a there's a hole there, maybe nest. Ah. Coming coming inside of it. All right. Uh, maybe it, it happens that sometimes we can be sitting some beetles we can sit together female and male inside the hole mm -hmm. right it happens or uh, some some akari some mites yeah also. some some beetles can sit inside holes that's why if another one is coming so we will be fighting mm -hmm. yeah it is happens in in insects kind of oh someone is asking us what what's up what's up well, everything is okay yeah it's fine fine. What about you? fine you two believers where are you from we can write where are you from from this visitor yeah okay, okay it's your turn yes just a minute yes yeah. uh, okay oh he's from Kiev too I see. Yes. I showed this on my some of my videos. This is so fly. Yes, our video. So fly. I mean optera. Not all I mean optera. Parasitoids, some like so flies by phytophagus. And some cinepede hull making was false phytophagus. So this is a rose sawfly eating the rose sheep. So while the rose just close inside city. And they I show, I showed them on video, they already made cocoons. Mm. And quite many parasitoids living inside the uh, can be imaged from cocoons so this is like a special group of parasitoids uh, ichneumonide and calcidvos which are living especially on cocoons of uh, soft lice cocoons are quite strong hard about uh, less than one centimeter maybe eight millimeters but they're easily parasitized by different parasitoids so very, very good source of food for parasitoids, so flies, cocoons, or sometimes larvae. But larvae has a kind of protection, so larvae is moving. But cocoon doesn't move, so easy to find food and a very good protection with a cocoon. Okay. And I had some my uh, big moths. Now all these moths became Yupe. So uh, one friend from Ukraine sent me uh, very nice caterpillars. Very nice caterpillars. I showed them. Just a minute. So these funny caterpillars, I showed them in some of my videos. And now all these caterpillars became pupae. In a, in a wild, it is uh, difficult to find so many caterpillars together. Mm -hmm. 
usually most lay two or three eggs and some of them they die because of nature or some parasitoids so this is artificial condition so food is very lilac you say plant is lilac with flowers spring flowers mm -hmm. and we call well, they this, have horns yeah this is a sphingida uh -huh. sphingida so a very characteristic sphingida yeah and we are eating and then finally caterpillar want to escape to escape to find uh, hidden place stop eating shape uh, becoming shortening size becoming shorter much shorter then excrete a little bit uh, liquid and becoming just a make a pupa mm. so i showed them on some video because this is process of metamorphosis is uh, very interesting and also another friend of mine sent me some not sphingida but some another moth i hope to show them very soon so because they can hatch from pupa so this one need to over winter now this some in this summer most will not come so this i have a pupa some pupa are good so hopefully we will sleep for the next summer let's see how we survive yeah. if we survive we will be alive if we do not survive pupa is just drying becoming mm -hmm. very light and drying difficult to see if a pupa doesn't move with a tail so she died if it's alive just moving a little moving a little so very so but this is a domest domestic zoo of a caterpillars uh, very good for education so very yeah. safe they're not dangerous they're not hairy eating simple plants and my friend he is just rearing them and sometimes these uh, people we just put them away allow them just to escape butterflies or just put them to the nation so this is sphingida hawk moths hawk moths hawk moths in english mm. hawk moths because they're like hawks so we're flying very fast yeah, and they're quick. so big yes so they're becoming big even though uh, some of the uh, people ask me where where do some biggest sphingidae hawk moths live and i found that the biggest we have a size about uh, 17 18 19 centimeters between wow. wings wingspan. between yeah. wingspan so this is about 15 centimeters so like that wow. with open wings with open wings up to 19 centimeters so quite big so very nice of course in tropical regions in uh, yeah. amazonia in brazil and also in africa in cameroon and in indonesia in so in tropical regions so in, in this region so caterpillar will be probably this size <laughs> so so maybe uh, size of a uh, mm, moths will be like that so caterpillar will be bigger and very very thick very thick mm -hmm. so very nice okay let's go to your turn but okay. this is so i like this very zoo. very colorful and very and easy to show on video and me too but in nature difficult to find this yeah. is only by case must be very careful observative just okay found because we're sitting very carefully and mimicry so we're hiding this is because of mimicry we're like invisible mm -hmm. sitting carefully let's go your turn 
Okay. Okay, tiny. And let me go. And this is the one I showed you. Yes, yes. So this is also Eulophida. It's a really interesting yeah. species. Like, yes, very nice. The, way with. It has shiny parts, like green, shiny parts, yellow parts. And the tip, oh. tip of antenna called Clava. Mm -hmm. Like lava, white color. I will not see the parasitoid. The parasitoid. Yes. I yeah. found this on oak. oak All right. Tree near oak tree all right yesterday i found some beetles from oak trees i cannot show it yet some beetles which are living inside seeds of oak mm. and some weevils some oh right 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 very um, nice not not weevils like co what was the name acorn acorn weevil right acorn weevil Yes, a corn weevil with very long, yeah. with very long shape of a nose. A corn, right. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, very nice. Just a minute. Okay. All right. Yes, yes, search. Okay. Yes, some some night moths can be small but very funny and attractive. Mm. So this is probably probably small Ratzileride. Or more more developing also like leaf mining more all right but very uh, this is about three millimeters not very small three millimeters okay once more and i show this lace wings before maybe this next one and this one is coming sometimes some species are quite big maybe one centimeter and a half and if you keep them in, in cage we are occasionally laying eggs inside cage mm -hmm. you know the eggs are very special Yes, they're like, uh, there's a stick and eggs here. Right, right. Really interesting. Yeah. And there are uh, different parasitoids. One is Telenomine, Telenomine family, uh, Platygastride, Platygastride, and then this is called Rhizopa, Rhizopide, Rhizopide. Rizapide, Neuroptera, Neuroptera. All oh, right, I, I know what I wanted to show. I wanted to show one Platygastride just recently. Just a minute, I find it. All right, yes. This one I found also on the window, just to I show you. Yes, Politica Street is common too. 
Like I see them everywhere. Around eggs, on plants, trees. Yes, very quite common. Mm -hmm. So because larva is a larva is a, actually predator on aphids. And this is a platygastrida under uh, the big magnification size about mm -hmm. one one millimeter. One millimeter. So it was running very, very fast. Here I I give a little bit a little of honey. So you some dro small drops of honey. So just to stop it. Because it was impossible to to show. It was running very fast. Just only the problem if you make a big magnification, uh, the quality is less because of light is less. And this is a very big zoom. Very big. But on, under the bigger magnification, oh, this one is. Well, then. So, wait, wait, come, 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 come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit yeah, yeah. easy to see. Yeah, just in <laughs> one, one second, very quickly. You see, just because when I just was trying, trying to make focus, trying to make focus, she's making something interesting. I made a focus, I made a position, and just insect just escape. Mm. So this is a very normal situation. Focus. She's just making a grooming, cleaning. Cleaning, and I'm making a camera, making light, making light, insects escape. <laughs> so this is. Yes. So let's go, your turn. Okay. And this is maybe an egg parasitoid of a grasshoppers. Some mm. species of parasitoid of grasshoppers. Oh, one friend from. Two, from France coming. Hello and hello to France. Hello. Yes, hello to France. He's Russian speaking, French speaking, Italian speaking man. Wow. Hello. Okay. So All right, right. Interesting, interesting coming. Another ALO female. Yes, yes. Why coming? And also jumping very easily. Mm -hmm. And so fast. Maybe ALO female, or maybe even some. Oh, you see. Nasilthenes. Oh, yeah. I see. We are Maybe good. Yes. yes. What about Peter or even Petra Campide? Campide. Now we, now we collected some Tetra Campide from eggs of a Cassida. Cassida. Probably. Some possible to collect. Some like from Rizamelide, small turtle beetles as I showed. But this is very nice. Yeah. Very nice. So size is very small. So mm -hmm. for people who do, who do, who don't know about it, size is very small. One millimeter. One millimeter is very tiny. Because I gave a small drop of honey to my parasitoid, I showed, and next day, this parasitoid died inside honey. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. so. Inside one small drop of honey, my tiny parasitoids just 
fell inside and died inside honey. So it was very pity because I hope to take the next video. Too bad. But no, no video, dead insect. Yeah. Yeah, same so thing happened to me with fruit flies. Like I uh, gave her a little bit of vinegar and it drowned in vinegar. Yes, very. Must be very careful to give maybe a piece of a paper, piece yeah. of paper or cotton, just to prevent so from drawing. Yes. Okay. This is I remember. So I showed this funny host. So this, yeah, this nice chrysamilide. So chrysamilide, if it does. They look like weevils. Yeah, but but they're not. They're not. Yeah, they leaf beetles, of course. Mm -hmm. So they sometimes they're making a small colony. Well, looks like a different color of a Colorado beetle. Colorado beetle mm -hmm. is very common in Ukraine. The they also called potato potato beetle. Yes. So, but this one is a shiny blue, I think. Da, shining blue, blue violet, like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are many parasitoids of leaf mining, be leaf beetles. Some, uh, or many of on on larvae, because usually they lay many eggs, so it will be just a colony of larvae, larvae. So that's why. Colony of larvae is very attractive for some predators and parasitoids. So they can be easily seen, that's why. Right. Yes, so they're they're at attacked. They're attacked very common. Some egg parasitoids of leaf beetles and some larval parasitoids. In okay. What else? Let's see your turn. If you have yes, I have I have just one video left. Okay, let's go. I showed this one too. Ah uh, yes, I I understand. Mega stick me there. Yes. Now is this is a separate family mega stick me there or before it was Tori me there? Yeah. And most of them were phytophagos inside seeds mm -hmm. and inside seed, seeds of different plants in some some of ornamental plants very common juniperus juniperus for example plant very common many or some pine tree pine trees pine trees seeds also of course, we're making maybe 10, 20 percent of infestation of seeds, so not oh, so easily to find, but possible sometimes. And uh, I showed this species, not this piece, another one from rose seeds. Ah, uh, yeah, rose, rose seeds. experiment. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Okay. Okay, it's your turn. I see. Just a minute. I check mine. Wait. Wait, wait. Because I check different folders. Different folders. No. Okay, let's show this one. 
Oh, this one. This one I collected just near my house, just on some plants. We were oh. sitting on a silinide or something. A silinide. Ah, silinide. A silinide. Rubber flies. Yeah. <laughs> We were very fast. Mm -hmm. Very fast. Difficult to find to collect them on flight. But sometimes we are sitting and hunt, hunting for another insect. So if you are coming nearby, we can sit even on you. So that's why it was colony mm -hmm. near my house on some plants. When I was moving, I put my some hand, and some of species can sit even on hand. And some species were with prey, with another insect. And I use a plastic, plastic tube, and I put them inside plastic tube, just directly alive. Mm -hmm. So because they're sitting carefully, but sometimes they're uh, very attentive, so they can escape very easily because they mm -hmm. fly quickly. This is probably male male because the female has a very sharp tip of her abdomen and here this is it has like a sting right the female no, this is not male female has a sting. Female has a ovipositor ovipositor with a oh. ovipositor and just sharpening sharpen ovipositor i read sharpen. somewhere that uh fem females are paralyzing the uh, prey with their stinger yes uh, she is uh, biting she's biting not with mm. stinging but biting mm -hmm. she's paralyzing with biting with with your just mandible yes so we put she put some juice inside mm -hmm. some kind of venom just from mandibles so an insect quickly dying, but so it, it, some people say that it can even can bite a, a human on finger, but maybe some bigger species, mm -hmm. but smaller species is not a great, so aggressive. They're very soft. They're very soft and not so aggressive. I never was bited yeah. by a rubber fly because she she's usually very soft and not trying to escape. Not trying, just mm -hmm. making just m making no movements. So try to to show that she's dead and just escape. So because she, but the body is super quite soft. Usually some insects more aggressive like a wasps because they have a hard body. Mm -hmm. Wasp is difficult to keep in hand. So hard body. So she's trying to escape to bite you. So, but this one, because you can press it and she is dying. So that's why you just keep it and already no moments. But very nice. Some species can be bigger. Mm -hmm. And here, very interesting uh, legs with some aroliums. I looked carefully just on legs. You see on, on top of uh, leg, the tarsi with very elongated aroliums. Just to press, to keep it on... Uh, on surface so that's why we are sitting everywhere even on shining surfaces carefully so we can attach with a tarzi and be very careful just turn upstairs in any positions keeping on surface and then just fly very quickly and so this aroleum on tarzi very elongated and quite a big and very easily visible not only clothes, no clothes, but also two aroliums between clothes, like that. Yeah, like so they're that. carrying carrying their prey with their legs, or claws. With legs and also just on stick. Mm -hmm. Carrying with legs, so legs are hairy. You see, also quite helpful oh, to keep okay. to to keep uh, the prey. Don't escape it because. I think. Okay, so camel flies. 
we can eat flies. Right, so we can eat flies. Achillide, we call it robber flies. As I say, robber flies, we rob robber flies. Yes, insects. So we, we kill them, we rob them and kill them. <laughs> so dangerous for another insect, which are even bigger than their themselves bigger than their size okay thank you very much so i can show my email in the end for example if someone has some questions so some other people who visiting us can ask questions you see here this is my email so so because i found that some people can send very funny very interesting questions so to make a short consulting about it some people asking about insects inside their houses inside their backyard inside the garden uh, usually because uh, for common people insects uh, this is a kind of irritating creature so mm -hmm. most of people does uh, do not like insects so they hate them to be honest only entomologists and some enthusiastic biologists curious becoming very curious about insects but majority of people they say spiders and insects were very dangerous no, this is not true yeah so yeah. Uh, so some of them were beautiful for example have you seen some beautiful insects bigger size recently yes for example, okay. the uh, metal boring uh, boring beetles. All right. Wood, wood, wood boring beetles. Mm, Buprecide. Yeah, Buprecide. Yeah. They are shiny, big, and they have beautiful colors. All right. And even in southern places, uh, they're quite a big size, right? Mm -hmm. mm, about maybe two, three centimeters. Yes. And and color and what was the color, blue color or blue and green? Mm, yeah, yeah, blue and green. Blue and green, yes, right. Because there was some red, also. Some Buprecidae uh, genus Julodes were just uh, living underground inside the root, roots, so were roots damaging uh, larvae of this uh, Buprecidae. And they have very unique parasitoids because very difficult to collect them. In, in roots, even some, I said, some buprecida, they have a parasitoids of eggs. If you remember, I told the story how to cut the body. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the, this is for Julodis buprecida. If you can cut a body and of a female of a buprecida, a wood beetles and put put outside eggs from the body you can put can put some eggs on small piece of paper we're hardening we're hardening we're nearly ready before oviposition so we do not die surprisingly we say we die if you take a chicken of course we die chicken is a okay this is a bl with blood but insect with a hemolymph so if you possible to put in the field this piece of paper with eggs some parasitoids are coming and attack the eggs on piece of paper so unique case so and i described one species of egg parasitoid of this bupris city beetle okay thank you for coming also, and, uh, i have another species like beautiful and big can i show it yes sure Wait. You found it for file. Right? I have a long horn beetle. Let's show. All right. Yeah, it's really big and shiny. Yes, very nice. Yes, yes. So oh, this nice cerambicida. Mm -hmm. Yes, just the right. Uh, 
No, I know the species name. Wait, let me write. You can you can type. Okay, I am. Or like Aromia Moshana. Yeah, Aromia Musata. Aromia. This is uh, not very rare species, possible to find it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, very nice. So this is a case with some insects, very attractive, very interesting, uh, good for education about mm -hmm. nature conservation, we can say, nature conservation. But this is a difficult to say about nature conservation because um, we live in a, strange world in strange world the world of humans so the humans mm -hmm. are the most powerful like a lion. dangerous dangerous. Lion, lion, dangerous so destroying everything and can destroy everything we pray that nature will help us we pray but nobody knows because mm -hmm. as a most powerful human being the creature can destroy just pressing on the bottom pressing on the bottom and some rockets flying somewhere and after that we have just 15 minutes to enjoy ice cream or, in, or insects we can look insects before dying yeah so that's that's pity but nevertheless we hope on the on the better yeah better future better future so so that's why if uh, somebody has insects inside house backyard or just uh, they're irritating for you you can ask some questions from me under this video or send email with your question so this will be just a fun just curiosity question mm, it can be a business question if it is important for you why not so we are not taking money for answer for this kind of advice but it depends from a diff or from the problem of course if it will be a very difficult problem <laughs> let's see what if somebody can propose us some money for example we think this is will be very good so for money we have a special patreon page you know patreon page patreon page like that for people who want to send patreon page mm -hmm. very easy to send Patre some money on patreon page because i tested it we it needs only to have what mm, how to say credit, credit, credit card. card credit card now everybody has a credit card so very easy but this is a kind of a donation which will be helpful mm -hmm. to develop some videos some traveling equipment and so on and so on science, science. Con contributing to science right and this is will be just direct contribution to the science because we're not making video about with um, kind of um, such a just about drinking about smoking and so forth for example because in ukraine if you don't know uh, we have uh, this video and sometimes some advertisement advertisements come in fortunately there are no advertisement about cigarettes but now very common is this kind of electronic cigarettes mm -hmm. so and there are a lot of advertisements on youtube i don't know why this is electronic cigarettes they're not very healthy i think yeah. they're not very healthy they're not like a chocolate too much chocolate also not very dangerous Healthy, healthy. But so we are not advertising smoking in just your private life. We're advertising science. Science means truth, facts, and curiosity about facts in the nature. And because, fun. And fun. And wow. science. This is a. Uh, this is a, you see in, how to say. This is object which is based on facts. Or what means facts facts can be proved 
by another facts. So that's why if I found some kind of facts about insects, Akif in Turkish Republic can, can check it and say, yes, it is true. I received the same result. Mm -hmm. If I just make made a, some kind of an imagination and was lying about some facts, you can check it and say, this is not true. So this is a science. Science, these are facts which are all, always should be and must be proved by experiment by another scientist. So this is a science. And it's the concerning results, concerning conclusions, concerning observations. If I observed something, Akif Sona is very observative. Mm. Can check under microscope and say, I found the same. If he found, if he can find interesting insect and say, check it in your place. I go to this place and can find it as well. Because knowledge is international. Mm -hmm. And we are very pleased to share this knowledge with our viewers for education, for curiosity, for fun, for enjoyment. And hopefully there are some people who are entomologists, who are not entomologists, but who like nature. And these people will like our insects. So, yeah, so we'll enjoy insects as a curiosity subject, not as very, yeah. not making like this, not making, but making with open window or open glasses. Oh, what is this? Oh, like I keep making telephone. What is this? What is this? Click, 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 and make it just a video or photo. This is and put results maybe uh, as we use as you advertise it very well on i naturalist net mm -hmm. uh, yes i i type it where, where, where? i naturalist net very very good site so we can advise it for people who is curious about insects who is making videos or just photos and want to know about the name, you can send your photo on this site, iNaturalistNet, and some of scientists will help you to identify this insect. Or if you have a question, you can send this video to me or just to Akif. We can also check it. But iNaturalist, this is kind of a community, community of different scientists. You can send photo of plant, mushroom, algae, and it's everything alive, everything, everything, spiders, crocodile, maybe just any creature, just a rhinoceros, uh, just an elephant, anything, and someone will advise you who is this or what is it, at least. So okay, thank you for coming to this archive. Great to pleasure to see that you are active and enthusiastic and yeah, very thank you. very careful with your telephone, which is making which is big one, bigger one like this, or even maybe even bigger with your special clip here, mm. as you showed, which is very useful to take magnified videos. Next time you can, is it nearby of you? Show it, please. Mm, not now. Not, not now. Okay. Next Maybe time. Next show. time. Yeah. Next time, obviously, must must show. Will be very useful. Thank you for your video. And thank someone. you for yours too. It was really fun. Thank you very much. So next time we will find new insects. They are always coming to us because this is a summer. So. Some in the winter time laboratory insects, laboratory or just in collection, in dry collection. But now this is easier to find insects outside. Difficult to make a live stream outside with insects, but inside laboratory easy to show because I have some living in my in some cages. 
but we are not, but we are very active. We can escape. Only pupa, pupa of hawk moths already not, do not escape. But I will make new videos about them and show them very soon. So thank you for coming. And if somebody is ca came to us to this video first time, subscribe to our video video channel and welcome to our channel next time. So thank you, Aki, for your curiosity, for your yeah, interest. Thank you for inviting me. For your enthusiasm and curiosity to see so small insects, small tiny parasitoids. You have a unique observative skills because one millimeter size must be very careful. So you have very sharp view on insects outside. Mm. So catch on your tiny camera more insects when we will show it next time mm. with a great pleasure. So thank you for coming. And thank you for everybody who was just Thank you, everyone. Us. Yeah, thank you. Best greetings from Kiev, Ukraine, and from and Turkey. And, Turkey. And city. Yes, All right. Thank you very much. Good luck. See you soon. See you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.